Welcome to Arizona Gardening with Robin Sherry. Hello again and welcome to Gardening with Robin Sherry. Last week you saw us put a brand new 3x10 uh, box in our yard and now I got to put water system to it. So I modified ours and put in a new four-way valve and this is the timer I have for the current garden I have right there. And then I put in a new one right here and put a regular hose to it and then connected it to a 50 foot hose just a regular heavy duty garden hose and uh, let's take a walk <laughs> and uh, you'll see it follows the house and uh, it's a little messy back here right now and uh, disregard the one hose but you can see it coming along the back side here and it's going to go right here and it's right here is where I connected it to a watering hose and the reason we're doing that <coughs> like that is along the edge here I'm going to be doing potatoes and stuff and I want to be able to tap into the water the water line to uh, water those potato plants separately <coughs> so uh, this goes all the way down to here which I've got a hundred feet of this half inch hose and uh, we're going to come in through the side and do circles around the uh, garden to pr keep it pressurized so it'll come in right here and go around and I'm going to drill two holes at the end down here and uh, <clears throat> go around in a circle again and everything will be sealed off so there's no end cap at all and it seems to help with pressurizing I kind of like it that way so uh, I thought I'd just show you kind of the preliminary of the main line and uh, uh, start showing you how we start um, <clears throat> breaking into these lines and uh, we're going to do uh, square foot gardening again. So uh, each side has uh, what, 5 times 3, 15 growing spaces, so it'll be 15 little jumpers coming through the garden here. And I'll show you what we did last year. <clears throat> I'm trying to lose my voice today. Last year, if you look at the system we have here, you can see how we put everything in a square to keep it pressurized, and every square has got their own little watering system. We did that on all the plants. Everything's squared off. And it seems to me, it seems to keep the pressure consistent for all the, the taps we have in here. So, yeah, it comes out real good. So let's get started. Hi guys, so before we get started, I want to kind of give you an idea of there's a lot of parts involved in this thing. One is always make sure you have a drill. And I've got to drill three quarter inch holes in the side of the wood, just three holes. But I thought I'd show you some of the parts we have to have. As, as you know, when you build something like this, there's lots of parts. And uh, so uh, you saw that I already put in a 50 foot hose, had to put in a new four way valve, had to do an adapter from the hose to the plastic hose which is already installed and so now I've got to get the lines up to the box and so I need to get a combination of things like these are 90 degree fittings for a half inch pipe I also needed a, a T fittings for the pipe and unfortunately I couldn't just get one also these are taps to go in for the little jumpers these are the little valves or the little sprinklers. Uh, Got to have lots of this uh, quarter inch. This is what will make all the little uh, jumpers, one foot, two foot jumpers into the, each plant. And uh, I need some uh, uh, quick connects and stuff like that. Just some extras for everything we're doing here. And uh, although it, does, it looks kind of simple, it's gonna it takes quite a while to get all this done. So. <laughs> Let's get back to work. So the first thing here we got to do is drill some three quarter inch holes, one in the side for the T-fitting, and then we'll put two holes in the middle section to allow the pipe to go through. This is where the main water comes in. So this is a T-fitting I'm putting through the three-quarter inch hole. 
On the other side, after I trim this, I'm going to put a 90 degree fitting for a half inch hose on the back, which will tap into the main line. As you can see, this is how I brought the, the water in. So I did a, what, three, 390 degrees and a T fitting right here. And uh, now we're ready to start piping up the whole, the whole mess here. Kind of cool, huh? Here I'm running the lines through the holes I just drilled. Uh, these two lines will go all the way from end to end. And uh, once I get those through, I kind of cut them extra long. So I will be wasting a little bit of pipe, but not too much. This is what it looked like after I put those two lines in. So to hold these lines in place, I've been drilling two holes in the side of the wood and then using uh, tie straps. Now this particular one, I had only small tie straps, so I had to use two tie straps to make this work. But I later went to the store and just bought longer tie wraps. These tie wraps are very easy to install by drilling just two holes. Uh, you'll see later on I'm actually using just one tie straps and these are nice because as you're building this thing you may find yourself having to cut them off and uh, get your tool in there for the little jumpers and then uh, tie it down again but yeah this is a great way to go to hold your lines in place without too much sophistication. This is just another way to let you see how I'm getting these tied down. Uh, once again, these tie straps work really well, and uh, all you have to do is drill two holes in the side of the wood, put the tie strap through, cinch it down, you're done. All right, so we got the main hose in all the way around the two boxes. And what I'm going to do now is mark off on the side of the wood one foot intervals so I can do square foot gardening. Now you saw in this garden we actually had string here, but that was kind of for our first year. We're going to remove it. So uh, what I'm going to do now, uh, and I also uh, put a little stake in the ground back here, right in the corner there. Kind of hold my hose down. but. Uh, yeah, we're just going to put markings in here just to give us an idea where the different square feet are. So when we plant, we can uh, keep it to scale. The only thing that kind of threw me here was uh, the fact that since we use blocks at the corner, it adds about four inches to the total width and length of the box. So it is an equal one foot uh, measurement. All right, now that we've gotten this far, the next thing I did is I made up a whole bunch of these little jumpers. So they've got a pin on them, and that's the little uh, sprinkler. And so I have a tool right here that is used for cutting tube, and it also punches holes. So all you do is put a hole in the side of one of these tubes here, plug that in, and you've got a watering system. So I've got 18 of these made for the one foot sections. Then I have to make some longer ones to reach the metal section. So uh, here we go. To put these little jumpers in is quite easy. You have a little tool that you just punch a little hole. And by the way, I ended up doing 22 small ones and then later eight long ones. So I got the math wrong a little. Well, we got the project all finished up and I thought what I'd do is give you a close-up look at how we did everything. So uh, uh, the only thing that'll look kind of funny is we have our lines right here and these are actually will be extended out here but since they're brand new to kind of rolled in but uh, it's designed to be square foot gardening so uh, <laughs> anyway when I get the plants in here uh, everything will reach appro appropriately 
So here I'm going to run kind of a close up so you can kind of see what it looks like. As you can see the pipes are new so they're kind of uh, stubborn and they don't want to bend the way I want them to. So right now I'm just leaving them at their natural state. But once the plants are in there and stuff we can maneuver the little jumpers to go to the plants appropriately. Last but not least, you should see it with the water on. So here we go. Since I did a circular install, you can see that the water pressure is consistent throughout the, the box. And uh, I found this system to work really well to keep everything running equally. Hey, I want to thank you for watching our video. We finally got water to our new garden. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, leave comments below. And our next video will be about planting. So uh, getting that garden going. So thanks again for watching. Talk to you next time. Hey, thank you so much for watching Gardening with Robin Sherry. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Till next time, bye.